Mungu yu juu yangu kwa maana amenitia mafuta kwa hubiria maskini habari njema. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Daima. Daima na milele. Tumsifu Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Lembe. Lembe lundi. Lembe te. Lembe mia. Chake. Chake mise. Chake kule mwa. Muriera. Nime kwa humble sana kuwapokea wageni ambao wametoka mbali na wamefika hapa kwetu ni furaha kubwa sana ni zawadi kubwa kutoka kwa Mungu kutufanya sisi kuwa jinsi tulivyo kuna watu wengi wanatamani sana wawe na wageni kama hawa ambao wamefika kwetu na hawapati sisi Mungu ametuchagua tukaweze kuwa hosts ya watu wetu Tuna wageni wametoka mbali tukiwema na mgeni mmoja anaitwa Rafael Poshone kutoka kule Burkina Faso kule West Africa My brother Rafael I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Kenya and in a very special way to welcome you here at our cathedral the headquarters of the Ecumenical Catholic Church of Christ in Africa the, 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 the main place where you are Archbishop, where the Nuncio resides. This is small Jerusalem. You are most welcome wherever you are. Uh, Brother Raphael to begin my coffee market and you can let him feel so much at home. We have John and we have Anthony to begin my coffee. Kuna wageni wametoka Mombasa all the way from the coast to Kona Ndugu Ben yuko hapa chomba hapo kule nyuma mpige makofi pamoja na familia yake Hallelujah Na kuna ndugu Edwin Waiguru kutoka Nairobi tupige makofi Na kuna mgeni maalum ambaye ni wetu hapa Shemasi wetu mtoto wetu tumemlea naoleza ninyi wa Kristo ambao mko hapa mnapopiga magoti ombea hao watu wa Mungu kazi ambao umechukua ambayo Mungu amewaita kufanya sio kazi rahisi ndio kwa sababu miaka zote tangu Biblia iandikwe there will be few Biblia inasema kwamba watenda kazi ni ni wachache lakini mavuno ni mengi sana so every year all generations the harvest will baba will be baba but the harvesters the servants in the vineyard will remain few and every day and forevermore and how do we do it how do we go about it how are we going to harvest this baba harvest he says that you have to pray anasema ninyi basi ambao mnanisikiliza ombeni So ombeni mnaomba nani? Mnaomba Mungu ili akaweze kutuchakulia wengi. So if we don't pray, we cannot receive because he has said that we ask and we receive. So many a time Christians have not prayed. They have not purposed to kneel and lift their hands up to ask God for his church. And that's why the church is always in trouble. That's why the church is having very few good priests. There are very few good priests. There are so many pastors everywhere. Even in the streets, on the, on the radio, on televisions, they are there. Very many of them. But we don't have great workers for the kingdom. And that's why it is our responsibility as a church to pray and pray every day and pray honestly that God will have mercy on us to give us young men who are strong who have the zeal of the kingdom of God men who are going to go out and preach the word of God men who are going to get the commandment of God with the commandment of Jesus Christ who say that go there and baptize them and make them my servants. Amen. 
Hallelujah. So that is why today, my brothers and sisters, the men who are standing here today, who have been ordained, and those ones who have been ordained, who are going to be ordained today, let us pray for them. Let us pray that the Ecumenical Catholic Church of Christ is going to expand because they are the right people in place with the right job. People who are going to wake up in the morning and pray. People who are going to wake up in the morning to go and visit the sick people. People who are going to wake up and give the poor food on their tables. People who are going to go out and touch and bust the wounded ones. Let us pray for them. Hallelujah. Amen. It is our opportunity today to receive Jesus Christ. Ni wakati wetu leo kwa ombea kwa weka wakfu to receive Jesus Christ. Kuomba ya kwamba hata wasaliti wale ambao ambao wanaweza kusaliti kanisa. Let these men who are here who are standing here let them have the discernment of spirit let them know that they should not betray Jesus Christ. They should not be like Judas Iscariot. They are going to be like Peter. Hallelujah. Amen. They are going to be like Peter. They are going to be the rock where the church is going to be built. They are going to have the keys. Whatever they will be able to lock down here, it will be, be locked up there. Whatever they will be able to open here, it shall be opened up there in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what we are going to do. And that's why we want to imbue the whole spirit in these men who are already ordained and those who are going to be ordained. It's not going to be just a, to be a fashion. No. It's a serious business. We are going to cry to God today when these men will have the oils from heaven. They will be charged. They will not be thinking the way they have been thinking. They will not do the things, that, the, the old ways. Be servants of God.
Kenya kwa ajili ya kusikiza sauti ya Mungu kupitia neno lake. Somo la kwanza wimbo wa katikati pamoja na somo la pili. Somo la kwanza somo katika kitabu cha Nabii Yeremia lango wa kwanza mstari wa nne hadi tisa. Somo katika kitabu cha Nabii Yeremia lango wa kwanza mstari wa nne hadi tisa. Neno la Bwana lilimjia kusema kabla sija kuumba katika tumbo na likujua. na kabla hujatoka tumboni na likutakaza nimekuweka kuwa nabii wa mataifa ndipo niliposema ah bwana Mungu tazama siwezi kusema maana mimi ni mtoto lakini bwana akaniambia usiseme mimi ni mtoto maana utakwenda kwa kila mtu nitakaye kutuma kwake nawe utasema kila neno nitakalo kuamuru uziokope kwa sababu ya hao maana mimi nipo pamoja nawe ni kuokoe asema bwana ndipo bwana akaonyosha mkono wake akanikuza kinywa changu Bwana akaniambia tazama nimemtia maneno yangu kinywani mwako hilo ndilo neno la Mungu Tumshukuru Mungu
katika injili ilivyoandikwa na Marko. Mtukufu kwako e Bwana. Marko 16 stari wa 15 hadi 20. Yesu aliwaambia wale moja. Enendeni ulimwenguni mwote mkaihubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe. Aaminie na kubatizwa ataokoka. Asiyedhamini atahukumiwa. Na ishara hizi zitakuatana na hao waaminio. Kwa jina langu watatoa pepo watasema kwa lugha mpya watashika nyoka hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha hakitawadhuru kabisa wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa nao watapata afya basi bwana Yesu baada ya kusema nao akachukuliwa mbinguni akaketi mkono wa kuume wa Mungu nao wale wakatoka wakahubiri kokote Bwana akitenda kazi pamoja nao na kulithibitisha lile neno kwa ishara zilizofuatana nalo Hilo ndilo neno la Mungu sisi kwa ewe Kristo wacha tunaomba kuketi wacha tunaomba kuketi wito wa wale ambao wanaenda kupewa daraja naomba wote tuketi baba askofu ambaye anachukua kiti chake cha uaskofu
as deacons. Do you judge them to be worthy? After an inquiry among the people of Christ upon the recommendation of those concerned, with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of deacons. <laughs> It is very important to them, those who are brothers who are going to be obtained deacons. These men, your relatives and friends, are now to be raised to the order of deacons. Consider carefully the ministry to which they are promoted, early and Bernard, you are being raised to the order of deacons today. The Lord has set an example for you to follow. As deacons, you will serve the Jesus Christ, who was known among his disciples as one who served them. You are not being ordained for yourselves. You are not being ordained to go and serve yourselves. Maybe you can see the bishop has a beautiful car. And you are silent, they want to have a car like that. No, maybe the bishop has a big congregation here. He says, I want to go and do my best just for the name of my name. The desire that you have is to serve Jesus Christ, who was the servant of all. He was the master of this world. I wanted Jesus Christ to be happy. I wanted to bring him to people. I wanted these people to know that Jesus is able. Anthony and John. You don't want to be ordained so that people can say, all right, this man is, is really a priest now in the, the Kabul church. He's putting on a very beautiful alb and he's tall and, and actually he looks nice in those attires. We are not being ordained because of those attires today. It is just a manifestation what God did in your mother's wombs. That before you were born, before you became a seed, he knew it. He knew that on this day, 11th of December 2022, you will be here in the far rural area of Bungoma County and you will be ordained deacons of God. He knew it before you were born. I know that you don't go far, but when you rely on the help of God who has ordained you in your mother's wombs, you will succeed. You will be conquerors. You will be on top. You will manage it. Hallelujah. Marajingi mimi, nimekua sina nguvu. Na kama ningetegemea nguvu zangu, singeweza. So kila wakati nipokuwa sina nguvu nilipata nguvu zangu kwa magoti nilipiga magoti kamwambia Mungu sasa hii kazi ulinipa na sasa sina nguvu hata leo nimeshindwa kuamka Mungu nitafanya nikimaliza kuinuka na magoti namna hivyo napata nguvu mpya na Mungu ananiambia enenda ubiri njili yangu kwa mataifa yote ukafanya watu wakaweze kuwa wafuasi wangu ukiwabatiza kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu na ishara hizi zitafuatana nao utakunywa sumu na hutakufa utaweka mkono kwa wagonjwa na watapona nikielewa wagonjwa mikono hapa wanapona nikiwekelea mikono hapa maskini wanapata ujajiri nikiwekelea mikono hapa watoto wanaenda kufanya mtihani wanapita nikiwekelea mikono hapa ndoa ambao zimevunjika zinakuwa tena vizuri kwa sababu zifanye nguvu zangu zinafanya nguvu zake mwenyezi Mungu hallelujah if you receive this anointing and you don't you don't obey you don't respect it you will be acting in futility hallelujah you will not be having powers you will be empty because the anointing that you blame and respect is the anointing that works for you. So if you want to go and preach, if you want to go and start a church, 
if you want to go and expand your church, you need to tap in this anointing that you are receiving today. Hallelujah. And this is the anointing of service. The Ecumenical Catholic Church of Christ is expanding because there is humility. Ndiyo tunakuwa Roman Catholic Church kuna sifa huko na kadhalika lakini sisi wacha tukue minority lakini tukutumikie Mungu. Na Mungu atusikiliza. Wakati tutakokuwa wawili utaona Mungu anaanza kusimamuza ndani mwako na Mungu anaanza kuainua na kuwa na hata kuinua. Rafael aweza kubaki wengine warudi kwenye miti yao. Tunataka tumsikize wale ambao wanaenda kuwa mapadre mteule wa pili. Reverend Father Vincent. Tuketi tusikize maujiano hayo. Father Vincent. Most Reverend Father Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, for the service as priests. Do you judge them to be worthy? After any query among the people of Christ and upon the recommendation of those concerned, with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ and we choose this man our brothers, John Kenneth Skanga and Raphael Boshoni for priesthood in the, in the order of Presbyterio. Mako Fine Mikel again. Father Skofu Amekubali Atawapa Taraja Yaupadri. These men, your relatives and, and friends, are now to be raised to the order of priesthood consider carefully the ministry to which they are promoted. It is true that God has made his entire people a royal priesthood in Christ. But our high priest Jesus Christ also chose some men of his followers to carry out publicly in the church the priesthood ministry in his name on behalf of mankind. He was sent by the Father, he was sent by the Father and in turn Set the apostles in the world through them and their successor, the bishops. He continues his work as teacher, priest, and shepherd. Priests are co workers of the order of bishops. They are joined to the bishops in the priestly office and are called to serve God's people. Our brothers have seriously considered this step and are now to be ordained to the priesthood in the presbyterial order. They are to serve Christ the teacher, priest, and shepherd in his ministry, which is to make his own body, the church, grow in the people of God, a holy temple. They are called to share the priesthood of the bishops and to be molded in the likeness of Christ. My sons, Bernard, Edwin, John, Anton, and Raphael. Before you proceed to the order of presbyterate, my sons, Bernard, Edwin, John, Anthony, and Raphael, before you are ordained deacons, you must declare before these people your intention to undertake this office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church's ministry by the laying of hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Yes, I am. I am. I am. My sons, are you willing, are you resolved to hold the mystery of faith with a clear conscience? as the apostle urges to proclaim the faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and the church's tradition? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Begin my coffee.
na kwa madhabahu haya tunawasihi wakaweze kuheshimu na kuheshimu baba yao kukosa kuheshimu baba yao ambaye anawateua na kuwapatia daraja hii maisha yao hayatakuwa mzuri so muombe siku zote wakaweze kuheshimu baba yao wa kiroho kuheshimu baba yao wa kiroho ndio kufanya kazi ya Mungu kwa nyepesi na raisi na kupanuka haleluya na kanisa inaweka hii jambo la heshima kabisa ili kaweze kuwa muhimu kwa kanisa ndio kanisa likaweze kuwa moja msifu Yesu Kristo Lazi hivyo kila mtu angefanya mambo yake Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of deacon. Makofi na bibi kelekele. Ni wote tupige magoti. Wengine wote tupige magoti kwa litania takatifu. wa pamoja na mapadri watarajiwa wanaungwa kulala kwenye mattress hizi prostrate kisha kisha litania takatifu tukiongozwa na kwa baada hiyo naomba mashamasi wa Jehudi waweza kusimama ili baba askofu aombe sala ya kuweka wakfu kama mashamasi kwa hivyo naomba ma, ma shamasi wa tarajiwa kama wamepiga magoti Baba Skofu anasoma sasa sala ya kuwafanya kuwa mashamasi. Big the connect consecration prayer.
Almighty God, be present with us by your power. You are the source of all honor. You are assigned to each his rank. You give to each his ministry. You remain unchanged. But you watch over all creation and make it new through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. He is your word, your power, and your wisdom. You foresee all things in your eternal providence and make due provision for every age. You make the church cross body grow to its full stature as a new and greater temple. You enrich it with every kind of grace and perfect it with a, a diversity, diversity of members to serve the whole body in a wonderful pattern of unity. You establish a threefold ministry of worship and service for the glory of your name. As ministers of your tabernacle, you chose the sons of Levi and gave them your blessings of their everlasting inheritance. In the first day of your church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the apostles of your son appointed seven men of good uh, repute to assist them in the daily ministry so that they themselves might, might be more free for prayer and preaching. By prayer and the laying on of hands, the apostles entrusted to those chosen men the ministry of serving as tables. Lord God, send forth upon the Holy Spirit that they may be strengthened by the gift of the sevenfold grace to carry out the faithful faithfully the work of the ministry. May they excel in every virtue, in love that is sincere, in concern for the sick and the poor, in unshuming authority, in self-discipline, and in wholeness in life. May their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to imitate the purity of life. May they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, giving to the world, to the world the witness of our, our pure conscience. May they in this life imitate your son, who came not to, to be served, but to serve, and one day reign with him in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Makofi kwa mungu na mingelegele Ni mashamasi wanaomba kusimama Mapadri wanao wasaidia Kuwabalisha stola pamoja na dalmatika Kwa wanambawa kunani Mapadri wasaidia ni Kuba stola Waimbia ni wimbo wa wito Waimbia ni wimbo wa wito Sika makofi kiteza penye uwa Wanakopalishwa Mashamasi wapia hawa watapokea Biblia takatifu ishara kwamba wao ndo wasomaji rasmi wa injili pamoja na kuhubiri neno la Mungu miongoni mwa waumini. Kila mmoja atachongea mbele ya baba askofu akipokea Biblia. My son Bernard receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you now are, 
Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. My son Edward, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. Amen. My son John, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. Amen. My son Anthony, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. Thank you, sir. My son, Nathaniel, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. Kwa wakati huu naomba mashamasi wapya warudi kwenye viti vyao Rafael aweza kubaki pamoja na Deacon Kennedy wajongee Mahadi watarajiwa wakapiga makoti mbele ya askofu kisha kuna laying of hands kwa wao baba askofu atakuwa wa kwanza kisha mapadri wengine wote wataweza kuwekea mikono na baada ya hiyo vile watakuwa nafanya hivyo kwa ya mtatuimbia wimbo wa roho mtakatifu Baba Skofu atawekea mikono mapadri watarajiwa kwa kuomba kimya kisha mapadri ambao wako hapa saa hii watafanya hivyo hivyo na kwaya kituimbia wimbo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Wimbo wa Roho Mtakatifu.
to our help. Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, you are the source of every honor and dignity of all progress and stability. You watch over the growing family of men by your gift of wisdom and your pattern of order. When you had appointed high priests to rule your people, you chose other men next to them in rank and dignity to be with them and to help them in their task. And so there grew up the ranks of priests and the office of Levites, established by sacred rites. In the desert, you extended the spirit of Moses to 70 wise men who helped him to rule the great company of his people. You shared among the sons of Aaron the fullness of their father's power to provide what the priests in, in sufficient number for the increasing rites of sacrifice and worship, with the same loving care. You gave companions to your sons apostles to help in teaching the faith, the preaching the gospel to the whole world. Lord, grant also to us such fellow workers. We are weak and our need is greater. Almighty Father, grant to these servants of yours the dignity of the priesthood, renew within them the spirit of wholeness as co-workers with the order of bishops, may they be faithful to the ministry, and they receive from you, Lord God, and be to others a model of right conduct. May they be faithful in working with the order of bishops, so that the words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth, and the family of nations made in one with Christ. May become God's one whole people. We ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Naomba wasimame wakisaidiwa na mapadri kubalishwa stola ibadilishwe vile vile chasipo. Wimbo wa witu. The Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God.
wanapofako mafuta wewe ndani ya moyo yako pokea mafuta hayo ndani ya moyo wako kiimani the father the father anointed our lord jesus christ through the power of the holy spirit may jesus preserve you to sanctify the christian people and to offer sacrifice to god wamepakwa mafuta sasa wanaenda kukabidhiwa chalis yani kikombe cha kuongoza misa takatifu pamoja na patron na paul na mwili wa kristo wanapadhimisha misa wanapewa vyombo vya kazi watakuwa wanasoma accept from the whole people of god the gifts to be offered to him know what you are doing imitate the mystery you celebrate model your life of the mystery of the lord's cross accept from the whole people of God the gifts to be offered to him know what you are doing in return the mystery you celebrate Mother you are alive on the mystery of the Lord's cross. Makofi kwa Mungu. Kwa sasa naomba mashamasi wapya wajongee mbele ya altari pamoja na mapadri wapya wataweza baada ya baba askofu kusali wata msalimia pamoja na mama askofu mama askofu ajongee alafu baada ya hiyo watasalamia mapadri kisha immediate congratulations wife wives partners peke yao watawasalimia wengine tutawasalimia baadaye wimbo wa furaha kumchezea Mungu wanaposalimiana extend the same to mama bishop extend the same to mama bishop shangilia mapadri wote wanaposawa sawa eh furaha tele makofia ka
sala ya sia ya tatu. Ya Bwana kweli kwa mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilicho mwanawe kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao na kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu unatia uzima na kutakaza vitu vyote. Wala huwaje kukusanya watu kwako ila toka mawe ajua hata mchewa yake wa kutolea sadaka safi. Basi tunakusihi e eh, Bwana Usibariki damu hizi tunazo kutolea upende kuzitakaza kwa roho wako ili zikiweka kuwa mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya usiku ule alipotolewa yeye mwenyewe alitoa mkate akakushukuru akakutukuza akaumega akawapa wafasi wake akisema kwaeli kule wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akakushukuru akakutukuza akawapa wafasi wake akisema twaeni mume wote hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu Jami ya agano njipia na milele. Itakaya umagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wote kwa mwondo ya nambi. Fanyini gibi kwa kumukumbuka. Krista alikufa, Krista alifufuka, Krista atakuja tena. Kwa hiyo, ee mwana, Tunapo kumbuka mateso ya huyo mwanao na kufuka na kupaa kwake mbinguni. Tunapo ngoja kuja kwake mara ya pili, tunatolewa kwa shukrani na sadaka hii yenye uzima na utakatifu. Tunakuomba uiangalie na kukubali hii sadaka ya kanisa lako, uliyetaka kutuliza nayo. Sorry. 
basi ni kipindi cha pokea ekaristia mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo wale ambao wamejiandaa na wako tayari wale wenye wako ndani ya hema kipindi ni cha ekaristia ila ambao wamejiandaa na iko tayari kupokea mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo basi wakati huu asanteni Aliwa nyoka yako. Aliwa nyoka yako. Hiyo nyoka. Aliwa nyoka yako. Hiyo nyoka. Aliwa nyoka yako. Aliwa nyoka yako. Aliwa nyoka yako. Aliwa nyo
Jesus. leo tumekuwa na sherehe kubwa sana mahali hapa katika katedrali hii kwa kuwapatia daraja ya ushemasi na upadri ndugu sita kutoka kanisa hili na wengi wametoka pia nje sio hapa Ngoma County tuko na uh, padri mmoja ametoka katika nje uh, nje ya Burkina Faso anaitwa Rafael Osoni na pia kuna mandugu ambao wametoka Dodua kaundi ya Turkana ambao wamepokea ushemasi anaitwa Anthony pamoja na John na pia tumepokea uh, uh, Deacon kutoka Mombasa anaitwa Bernard Chomba na tumepata Deacon mwingine kutoka kaundi ya Kiambu anaitwa Edwin Waiguru na sisi tumefurahi sana kwa sababu kanisa letu la Reformed Catholic ama ikimeni kwa Catholic Church of Christ linakuwa kwa kasi na tunakumbatia uh, watu wengi ambao wanataka kumsikia Kristo tunaendelea kuhubiri. 